So I've been at the Dollar Tree looking around and trying to figure out what's next. So it's nothing but summer, summer, and more summer. So I came up with a fun idea. This is going to be something that you can use at a backyard pool party, a tiki theme, uh, a cookout, uh, just something real quirky and fun. And not only that, but if you were invited to something like that, this would be a great idea to bring with you. What a conversation piece this is going to be. So let's get started. First of all, all the supplies are from Dollar Tree. I found this cooler. This is going to be the base of what we're going to be building everything on. And then some pom-poms. I picked the green and gold. I'm not sure about this, but maybe a mermaid. Pineapple. And I'm not crazy about that top. And I found this in the succulent area. This It's a little clip-on. But I'm thinking about pulling this off because I like the taller one and it's not quite as dark green. I like, I think this looks a little um, more real. Is that a word, more real? A little spinning flower. This tiki sign. Check this out. This is actually, it re, oops, <laughs> I pushed it in, but it's okay. This actually works and this is gonna hold a drink a cup, some double stick tape, I think a couple of shish kebab sticks. I'm gonna have to add some glue somewhere along the line. So let's get started. So the first thing to do is to take this off of this. I've done one already and it ends up coming out to two long pieces of this. And that's exactly what I thought was in there, which is enough to stick around, I, I'm going to do it on the top here. I'm not gonna do it there. I'm gonna do it up on the edge like that. And it's enough to stick around. Okay, since I didn't make this up ahead of time and I'm making it up as I go along, I realize that this green and gold is not gonna make it all the way around. So if you want it to be all the way around, you're gonna have to buy more than one pack of those cheerleading pom-poms. So what I did is I am gonna have a back to this. So I ran the gold around and I just used, I didn't put the double stick tape all the way around. I just used it in little pieces. And now I'm going to put the green on top of that and still leave the back open like that. And then we'll see what it looks like. Now, since this is covered on both sides and the front, um, it's time to make a little drink station on the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put double stick tape. The Dollar Tree double stick tape is really sticky. So I'm gonna put double stick tape around the base of this and tape that on. And then I'm also gonna put double stick tape on top of the margarita cup. And I'm gonna put and tape that around the base of that. And then we're gonna stick it down and that should hold both of these things. And then we're gonna decorate it. Well, that double stick tape, like I said, is very sticky and it worked great. It's it's on there solid. Um, also, I did take off the tags that was underneath both of these plastic items. You could see through to the bottom where they were and I pulled those off. You're not gonna be able to see these flowers that's on the bottom of the margarita cup because we're gonna take this tiki sign and we're gonna put it like this. So the way I'm gonna do that is I am going to um, glue it on this, but this end down here, there's really not a lot to glue it on. So I'm going to take a little shish kebab stick, not very long because this isn't very deep, and I'm going to hot glue it on the back of this. So I'll be sticking the shish kebab stick down in there and then hot gluing this to here. Uh, of course, we couldn't use hot glue all this time because you can't use it on styrofoam, it melts. But I think between the shish kebab stick being stuck down there and the hot glue on this, um, that, that'll that hold it. Now, I did take the hanger off. You see the little holes? I'm going to take and maybe just do a little tie or something on both of them with the leftover little piece of jute. And then after that's all glued and put together, we'll see what it looks While like. I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up. Um, I wanted to take the top off of this pineapple because I really don't like it and put this on. So the way I did that is I just took these needle nose pliers and I kind of bent it on an angle. It popped out 
Um, along with it is coming little gold pipe cleaner. So I'm gonna hot glue that down as soon as my uh, glue gun's ready. And then, take this off. Of course, this is an added dollar that you really don't have to spend, but since I'm doing a, a YouTube on it, I decided to make it the best I could. So now it does have this little pinch thing on it. So I don't know if it really would pinch on the side. I don't like it, you can see it. But you can take that little pinch thing and you can push it down inside there. And it's a little floppy, but I'm gonna actually glue that down. But it does hold, and I like that much, much better. So when the glue gun's ready, I'm going to put uh, glue on that shish kebab stick, glue that sign on the shish kebab stick, and then put that in front. And this is going to be glued on the top like that. This way you can still unscrew this and get to it, but it's an extra decoration. And so um, I'll be back once my glue gun's ready. In the meantime, I've been thinking about this little top that I took off of the pineapple and I thought maybe that would be fun to stick it in the middle of this flower, like a pineapple head. Kind of something extra, little detail. So what I did do, in case I decide to use this, so I wanna not miss what I've done. I took and pried the back of this off, this circular piece right here. I pried that off and I got that. And then I realized that it's just in three separate pieces. And on the little middle piece was uh, this long stem. And I need to get that stem off to be able to put it over that little stem. So I clipped the little stem off with the needle nose pliers. And now I'm gonna glue these pieces in all together, back together. And then I'll have the opening. I'm gonna put this cap back on and then I have that little opening. And that little opening will fit over that little peg. And then I'm going to have a little pineapple head coming out of that flower, I think. I'll see. So I got the uh, plastic pineapple head back to its original form, except that little uh, nub that was sticking out there stem is now out. And like I said, it's going to be able to be glued right over that. And I think it's kind of fun. Why well, throw it in the garbage? We can stick it on the flower. So I'm going to glue that down and then get started on the sign that I still don't have a. Okay, well I said fun and quirky and it's, it's gonna be fun and quirky. It's getting so big and I have to move it back for you to see. But now since I have and it, everything glued real well. So now since I have all that glued and I have our little pineapple top on top of the uh, flower, it's time to put this uh, put, let me see, let me get a little higher. It's time to put the flower back here. Now, if I put the flower back there, when I push it through, uh, I, it, I don't think this little skinny top's gonna support it being held. And if I go, try to go all the way to the bottom, it's gonna be too low. So this is a little glitch in making this. Um, this comes off, so you can put ice in here. But what I need to do, I think to do, is put a little piece of styrofoam and just stick it in the back here. Then when I go to push this through, I can get it up higher and it'll have something to hang onto in there. And uh, you know, everybody should be saving styrofoam from their packing. So if you have a piece of styrofoam, I think it would be a good idea to stick it in there. And then we're gonna go all the way through the top and stick it through here. And then we can have the flower whatever height we want. We won't be dependent on that thin piece of styrofoam on the top of this to hold that up. So I am going to, I, I'm going to use my lightest setting on my hot glue gun. We all know that a hot glue will melt the styrofoam, but I think it'll be okay just to get these two pieces in there. And I'm not worried if it does because it's gonna be inside and nobody's gonna see it. Now, my plan was that you can actually put ice in here and use it while you're using the top for the rest of it. So this doesn't disrupt you having any ice inside. Well, I said it could be a conversation piece at a party. I think it's gonna be more than that. Um, so right now, it depends on how corny you really wanna be because um, we have this left and I've been thinking about this. 
Now, the plan for this is if you wanted to, it's actually got all, all the uh, details that it needs. You can put ice in here. Of course, the top still comes off. And uh, you can, I was gonna fill this with limes and then you can have your beverage in here and this, the spout actually works. But if you really, really wanna go extra corny, I was thinking we take this head off, <laughs> take the arms off, and instead of just putting lime, cut up limes in here, you could actually glue the mermaid in the cup and put the limes around the edge of her. And she's diving inside the cup with the limes around her. So, uh, I don't know. Please don't give me a thumbs down. I think it came out fun. If you've got a sense of humor, make it, set it out at your party, put it at your front door before your guests come in. It'll give them a good laugh, something to talk about, or bring it to a party and be the talk of the party. Thank you for uh, watching my video. Subscribe. And if you don't want to do that, just give me a thumbs up. Have a great summer. Bye.